everybody, welcome to the Daily Hizuk. Unbelievable, this book that, uh, that we are focusing on, Positivity Bias. Fantastic book. By the way, I, fig I figured it would be a good idea to tell you who wrote it. Mendel Kalmanson. Again, Positivity Bias. Um, look it up. It's just a great book. And, you know, when we talk about being a positive person, we say to ourselves, okay, you know, it's very nice. It helps me deal with, you know, my daily grind. Um, it helps me deal with my little life you know, life's problems that I may have. But having a positive attitude and seeing things in a positive light actually creates new opportunities for good to happen in the world. Listen to this one. This is unbelievable. This is, I found in the book, fantastic. In the, the year was 1968. A lady named Shirley Chisholm was elected to Congress, the first African-American woman ever elected to Congress. And she was from the New York area. And she gets to Congress, and in order to sort of marginalize her power and take away any of the things that she could possibly do, they made her the head of the agricultural task force, or something that has to do with like the Midwest. And she was very depressed and very down. She wanted to help inner city African Americans, and she's not gonna be able to do it. Sure enough, she gets a phone call. The Lubavitcher Rebbe wants to meet her. She goes to that meeting. And she sits down with the Rebbe, and the Rebbe says, so I, I heard you became the first African-American congressman from our district. She says, yeah. She you know, said, you're upset, right? You're upset that they put you on that committee. She goes, yeah, I wanted to do so much in the inner city, and they just put me to the side. What am I going to do now? He said, what an opportunity you have. You have access to food. And so many of your brothers and sisters don't have food. Maybe you could put something together. See the positive. Think out of the box. Sure enough, she goes to Washington, D.C. Senator Bob Dole meets her and says, you know what? I have these farmers. The, the Americans are now getting all their uh, produce from Cuba. I, I got to get them to someone to buy their produce. What could we come up with? They came up with the idea of WIC. How many people today get helped from food stamps and WIC? That's the program she put together. She became a champion of the inner city folk. Seeing in a, things in a positive light creates new opportunities because we see what could be. Let me just so, tell you what she wrote at her retirement ceremony. At her retirement ceremony, she said the following thing. She said like this. She says, I owe all that I have done to a rabbi who was an optimist, who taught me that what you may think is a challenge is actually a gift from God. And if poor babies have milk and poor children have food, today it's because this rabbi in Crown Heights had a vision. What a message. Positivity actually creates the ability for you to do great things. Have a wonderful day.